Hey, Claude Pallon here, Affiliate Starting Line. Welcome. It's going to be a video about uh, Amazon Web Services. Amazon Web Services is a uh, service provided by Amazon to store data. And it's important to, to know about it because if you have a lot of data, and as I do, I have over 200 videos and a lot of other stuff, uh, it's, it's a great place to back up all of the content you're creating. It's um, stored in their cloud technology, uh, that, which simply means they have servers uh, all, sprinkled all over the world uh, in major geographic areas. And so uh, when you go up on those servers, uh, your content is by default private, unless you change the permissions to allow it to go public. And it's safe, it's fast, and it's very, very uh, priced very reasonably. Uh, uploading to it doesn't cost anything. Opening an account is free. Uh, whenever you start downloading and when you start, start serving data, that's when you start paying. But the price uh, is very reasonable, pennies on the gigabyte. Uh, and in return for which, you have a very secure, very safe uh, place to keep your data. So I back up on a hard drive, but I know that if the hard drive dies, I have a, a second backup in the cloud, and I can access that data from anywhere where I find myself, uh, and it makes it very convenient. So how do you sign up? Well, here it is. You go to aws.amazon.com, and you'll come to a screen looking like this. Now, the product you are interested in, there are many products. If you click the product tab, you're going to see all these products here. The one you're interested in is right over here, Amazon Simple Storage Service. Amazon, better known as Amazon S3. If you click on that link, it will take you to the page that explains everything you want to know about Amazon Simple Storage, Amazon S3. So I would read it. It talks about its functionality. It talks about protecting your data. Uh, it, there is another form of, of storage that you can get. You, you've got all the pricing you, you want here. Um, data transfer pricing, that's the one you want to really look at. But the first gigabyte per month is nothing. So for the first gigabyte of transfer, they give it to you for, for free. Up to 10 gigabytes, uh, up to 10 terabytes, it's 12 cents per, per gig. I mean, it's very reasonably cheap. Uh, I just stored material, and my bill last month was for 82 cents. So just to give you an idea. But I have a lot of videos, and I'm, when I start serving those videos, I know it'll be reasonably priced. Then, So I would go through this and read all the terms, etc. And then when you come back to the top of the page, you see here, sign up now. You can sign up. Or you can come up here to create a, an AWS account. If you click on it, it's going to take you to an, an address. They'll want you to put in an email address. Uh, so, you, you know, put in your email address, and then uh, it'll take you to another screen where it's going to ask you. I'll say I'm new. It's going to ask you uh, to put in your name. It will take you to another screen where it'll ask you for credit card information. And once you've got all that in there, it will create an account for you. Now, when you create an account, uh, let me sign out and sign in. Uh, when you want to sign in, you come to the same page that we started off with, AWS, Amazon here. This is console. You come up here to sign into your account that you've already created. You type in your email address it'll, and your password and it'll take you into your account. Now, when you come into your account, you're going to notice a, a left-hand side. You're going to see a menu bar at the top. These are all the different products that Amazon offers. Uh, the one you're concerned with is right here, Amazon S3. So you'll select that. And then it'll come down here and have a sidebar that says buckets. Yours will be blank. You'll create, you can click the Create Bucket. And the buckets are folders into which you're going to put your data. I have three here, one for my blog, one for, uh, for some of my other sites, and then I have one here for all my videos. Just to give you a sample, if I click on the video bucket, 
It'll come back here, and these are all my different videos uh, that I've uploaded into different folders. You can organize them. We're going to get into that in the next uh, video. And then you can click Upload to upload your data, and we'll get into that in the next video. So this just gives you a quick run-through of uh, what, what S3 is and what you do to sign up to it. And uh, I think it's a very useful service. Uh, it's one that I've been... Uh, fortunate to find and uh, it's going to be very helpful if you have a lot of data it's a great place and a safe place to keep it so Amazon Web Services I hope this video has been helpful stay tuned for the next one we're going to go in and uh, show you how to upload videos to it or files to it and how you can access and set your permissions I hope this has been helpful this is Claude Palana Affiliate Starting Line stay with it stay well and we'll talk to you soon